So in uh, the third algebra review, um, the first thing we need to talk about is uh, adding or subtracting uh, rational expressions. To add or subtract rational expressions, you want the uh, bottoms to be in factored form so that we can see if they have a matching factor. So you'll notice if we put this first one here, into factored form um, that they both ha already have an x plus 2. So that means that the only factor that's missing in one of our fractions, our first fraction needs a 3. And so then we would have 9 over 3 times the quantity of x plus 2 minus 2 times uh, or over the quantity of 3 times x plus 2 would be 7 over 3 times the quantity of x plus 2. And if you'll notice, they um, have put all of their fraction denominators in um, expanded factored form. So leave your denominators like that. So number 1 is an e, so go down here, and then you know you got an e there. So this is the kind of work I need to see. Now I would like to do one like number 4. So let's do number four. Again, the key is to get all denominators in factored form. Any factors, write them in parentheses. Uh, x squared minus 3x plus 2 factors to be x minus 2 and x minus 1. Now let's think about why. Uh, negative 2 times negative 1 uh, is the positive 2 you're looking for. Negative 2 times negative 1 adds up to negative 3. And then you'll notice that we are missing this x minus 1 factor on the second fraction. So we're going to multiply top and bottom by x minus 1. Now our denominator will be that x minus 2, x minus 1. Just leave it. Don't try to multiply that. It's usually just essential to multiply on the top. And so we would have a 3 for the first one. Be careful. This negative is going to distribute. So we get negative 3x plus 3, which is 6 minus 3x over x minus 2, x minus 1. Now, if you go to look for that, I believe it's not going to be there. Let's see. And this is why. If on the top here we take out a 3, we are left with 2 minus x. Now remember, a 2 minus x and an x minus 2 can cancel each other out as long as you leave a negative 1 behind. So we should see the answer as negative 3 over x minus 1, which is r right here. So number 4 is r. So that's what you're doing there. Put the denominators in factor 4. Uh, get a common denominator to add or subtract the fractions. Now, our uh, last one we're going to do are equations of that same sort of sort, okay? Now, the problem with um, these is there are some possible um, excluded values, and so we'll deal with that in a minute. Um, but the first thing I would suggest doing, so let's start with number one, is to put any pieces um, in parentheses, so they look more like a factor. And if it is not in factored form, put it in factored form. Now what you might notice is that we are going to look at all the factors contained within all of the fractions and account for all of them. So the only factors I see are x and x plus 3. So that's the key there. Now x is not allowed to equal 0, and x is not allowed to equal negative 3. Any of those factors that are 0 in your denominator would mess that up. But we're going to multiply everything through by those factors of x and x plus 3. Now that's technically a whole number, so or whole thing. So those just get multiplied on the tops only because what's going to happen is, is we are going to be left with something nicer. Now if I multiply this by the top here, the x plus 2's cancel, I'm left with a 2x. If I multiply this by this fraction, the x's cancel. I'm left with 3 times the quantity of x plus 3. And then finally, if I multiply this by this fraction, 
both of those cancel, I'm only left with a 10 divided by 1 or a 10. And now it's just a simple equation. So, you know, just how would you solve this equation? So distribute, add like terms, get your variables to one side, your simple numbers to the other. And we get one fifth. Now that's not from our excluded value list. So if you look down, that is T. So where we see number one, put a T. And that's how you do those. So again, your goal was to try to get these done by the end of the class period. Feel free to ask if you're stuck on any.